As part of proof of concept number two, we investigated the delivery versus external payment use case. It's referred to as a delivery versus external payment transaction because the cash settlement of the transaction happens outside of the SDX platform. In this example, the transaction originates from an over-the-counter trade, which is settled jointly by the SDX and SIC platforms. On the SIC platform, we have settlement accounts for Bank 1 and Bank 2. On the SDX platform, we have the nodes of Bank 1, Bank 2 and the Notary node. To initiate a bilaterally agreed transaction, Bank 1, which is the seller of tokenized assets against payments in SIC balances, enters a delivery versus external payment instruction. Bank 2 is the buyer of tokenized assets against payment in SIC balances and enters a receive versus external payment instruction into the SDX platform. If the instructions match, a reservation request is automatically triggered for the tokenized assets. Upon the successful blocking of tokenized assets with Bank 1, the reservation is confirmed by the system. Throughout the whole transaction, the notary node checks whether state changes to the ledger concern an old state. In particular, it checks whether the tokenized assets involved in the transaction have not already been spent. If successful, the notary node signs the transaction. The SDX system then generates a payment ISO 2022 instruction to the SIC system. The instruction is a third-party system payment which instructs the SIC system to transfer SIC balances from Bank 2 to Bank 1. Upon confirmation of the payment from the SIC system to the SDX system, the notary node signs the transfer of the blocked tokenized assets from Bank 1 to Bank 2. Now let's take a look at a demonstration of a delivery versus external payment in action. We're on the SIC test platform, logged in as Bank 1. SIC balances on the settlement account are approximately 1 billion Swiss francs. SDX settlement is the name of the third-party payment for cash transfer in SIC. Three payments with type SDX settlement have already taken place prior to this demonstration. We're going to take a look at the fourth. We've now switched to Bank 2's account. Bank 2's SIC balances are approximately 1 billion Swiss francs. There have also been three previous SDX settlements, and we'll look at the fourth as part of this demonstration. We're logged into the SDX GUI as Bank 1, here referred to as Bank A. We can now see the tokenized asset holdings of Bank 1. The quantity of tokenized assets held in the account is 10,000 units. None of those assets are reserved and therefore appear as available. Let's move to Bank 2, here referred to as Bank B. We can see the tokenized asset holdings. The quantity of tokenized assets held in its account is 868 units. The assets also appear as available. Now let's switch back to Bank 1. In order to initiate the transaction, Bank 1 creates a new settlement instruction. From the perspective of Bank 1, it's a delivery versus external payment instruction, as Bank 1 is the seller of tokenized assets. In the instruction, Bank 1 fills in the required parameters, among others, the counterparty, the asset type, the asset quantity, and the cash amount. Bank 1 sells 10,000 units of tokenized assets against 100,000 Swiss francs, implying a price per tokenized asset of 10 Swiss francs. Having entered all the parameters, the instruction is now saved. The screen shows the instruction details. We can see that the instruction status is accepted and the status is unmatched. We've now moved back to the SDX GUI of Bank 2. Bank 2 needs to enter the corresponding counter instruction. For Bank 2, it's a receive versus payment instruction. Once Bank 2 has entered the parameters, the instruction is saved. The GUI shows the transaction has been successfully saved and we can see the instruction details. Moving back to the instruction details of Bank 1 and refreshing the GUI shows that the instruction status has moved to pending and the instruction is now matched. 
Switching to Bank 1's tokenized asset holdings, we can see that 10,000 tokenized assets are reserved, waiting until the cash leg of the transaction has settled in the SIC platform, and that zero assets are now available. Updating the transaction overview on the SIC platform shows the cash settlement from Bank 2 to Bank 1 was settled. Looking again at the instruction status in the SDX GUI of Bank 1, it shows that the status has switched to settled. As a result, the tokenized asset holdings of Bank 1 now stand at zero. No tokenized assets are reserved, and the tokenized asset holdings of Bank 2 have increased by 10,000. A fourth payment with type SDX settlement was added as part of this demonstration and Bank One's SIC balances increased by 100,000 Swiss francs. We can also see the account overview of Bank Two shows a fourth payment with type SDX settlement was added, and the SIC balances of Bank Two decreased by 100,000. So the use case, delivery versus external payment, digital assets versus SIC balances has been successfully completed.